think that'll work. Okay. Getting back to what we were doing. We're going to uh, show how to divide um, a number into 342, which is going to be 11. We're going to see how to divide 11 into 342. The question that we want to know is how many... Um, how many 11s there are in the number 342? But I'm not going to use the entire number. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use a portion of the number to see if 11 can go into that portion of the number first. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions in the very beginning so that you get the understanding of what we're doing. So can 11 go into 3, class? No. Okay. So 11 can't go into 3, but can 11 go into 34? Yes. yes. yes right. So uh, 11 can go into 34. And the question is, can, how many times can 11 go into 34? And Brian has answered. Two. Two. Okay, you say there are two 11s in 34? Oh, three. Okay. It's three. Okay, so there are three 11s in 34. So what are we going to do? We're going to write our number three up here. And then we're going to do our multiplication. Titus seems to be trying to answer. Just tell me something. What's going on? You said 342, it's 349. 349, I'm sorry. 349. Uh, okay, so I got to start all over again. <laughs> all right, we are take two. We're going to see how many times 11 can go into 349. And uh, we're doing this because what we have here is a double digit number here in our division. And usually when you have a double-digit number in division, it takes a little bit more thinking about uh, how to do double-digit numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to see, uh, does 11 actually go into a portion of this number first before we actually go into the entire number? And so let's ask ourselves, we're going to start with the uh, first column here. We're going to ask ourselves in the hundreds column, does 11 go into 3? And uh, obviously it does not. So how many times uh, uh, can we go into three? And that would be zero. So we don't need to write a zero up here. We can just go ahead and skip to the next number. Can 11 go into 34, class? Yes. Okay, how many times is it going to 11 then, Jose? Three. Three, okay. So that was Jose who answered the question. So we're going to say three times, uh, three times that 11 goes into 34, three times. And what would be 3 times 11, uh, Titus? 3 times 11 would equal 33. 33. So we're going to put 3 times 11, and it would be multiplying. 3 times 11, you remember the next step, would be multiplying. And so we would go 33. Then after that, um, let's just, let me stop there and ask you, what do we do next? Who remembers what do we do next once we multiply 3 times 11? What do we do next? Uh, Brian? Um, we subtract 34 and 33. Right, we, we subtract these numbers here. So 34 minus 33 is what? What would you say, Brian? Um, one. One, thank you. Okay, so that would be one. So what would, what would be the next step that we do? Um, Titus? Write down the nine. Okay, well, remember, it's going to be, um, who remembers the acrostic that we used to try to, the, the, um, the old saying that we used to try to figure out what comes next? Uh, it would be B, okay. M, okay. M, and C for uh, compare, and then B for bring down. How do we remember that? That would be divide, multiply, subtract, um, and then compare, and then bring down. So, uh, how would we say that? What would be a good way of saying that, Titus? Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers is a good way of remembering divide, multiply, subtract, compare, and bring down. There's another one that we can use too, Jose. What is that one? Dad, dad, mom, sister, cool brother. Dad, mom, sister, and cool brother. So whichever one you want to choose to remember, you can use that. So we, we've already done, we've done our division. We've done our multiplication. Three times 11 got 33. We've done our subtraction. 34 minus 33 equals 1. 
Now we need to do what? Compare. compare, right? We're going to compare 11 to the number that we got when we subtracted. And our number that we got when we subtracted was 1, right? So can 11 go into 1? No, obviously not. So we're going to have to do what? Bring yeah. down. So we're going to bring that 9 down. And once we bring that 9 down, now we have a number that's large enough for us to start dividing again. So let's divide. 11 goes into, how many 11s are there in 19, class? One. One, right. There's one 11 in 19, so I'm going to put my 1 up here. Then I'm going to multiply. 1 times 11 equals, class? 11. 11. And then I'm going to do what? Subtract. Subtract. And then 19 minus 11 equals what? 8. 8. So we have 8. So we have that if there are 11, there are 31 11s in 349 with a remainder of 8. And that's how we do our long 349, is that correct? That's how we do our long division. And I hope this helps.